And I remember when I, when I told my brother about my ex and I told him that he had four kids by two different women, he's like, are you effing crazy? Girl, like what is wrong with you? And I told him the kids his age. He was like, you don't want kids. You barely like kids. And you're going to be with a man with four young kids. But he's so smart and he's so charming and he's well versed and he's all of this, but he's like, well, he still got four kids by two women. And I ignored all of that, knowing that I had made it clear to myself, I did not want a man with young kids. And I certainly didn't want a man who had multiple children with multiple women. And then the age of the kids was like, it, it, there was just a lot that just was like, ah, but I kept going. That is on me. Cause that man told me about his kids and he told me about the problematic woman in his life. And I thought, keep going girl, you keep going. That's fine. It's going to be fine. And did it help that he was tall and handsome? Absolutely. Absolutely. It helped. It worked. 100% help. No, girl, you found this man. He is the man of many women's dreams. We can just ignore the four kids and the two baby mamas. Yeah, they're problematic. Oh, girl, no, that's going to be fun. No, you're peaceful. This won't bother you. It's going to be okay, girl. Because look at this man because he's fun and he's well-spoken and he makes you pitter-patter and all of that stuff. Well, that ended up being our demise. The four kids and the two problematic baby mamas where I should have said a stop. <laughs> it took me two years, eight months, and two days of my life. When I should have at the beginning been like, as great as that seems, I know that this doesn't work for my life.